I would say, first of all, that the yacht was a fantastic experience in many, many ways. Um, of course, because it was the first climbing competition in with an Olympic format ever happened, and we were there, so we were extremely happy to be there. Um, it was an opportunity to connect with the organization and many stakeholders of the games, which was very new for us. Uh, and of course, at the end, uh, during the competition, it's very exciting to see all these very impressive young champions compete, uh, compete in an efficient way, but also in a very friendly way. So the competitions were abso absolutely marvelous to see, and for us, very exciting in terms of uh, impact and what we could see on the field. For Luxor, it was a unique opportunity to demonstrate some of our solutions uh, and to test them in a real condition, and among which was the Luxor Touch Speed Hold. Um, probably you noticed on the speed uh, wall there were three black holes that were placed on each lane of the speed wall and on the key places of each rut. Uh, we could test in real conditions the accuracy of our system, of our measurements, and the reliability of our system. We did get the best results uh, at the end. When we found that technology was accessible to transform a hole into a sensor and capture time when the climber touches the hole, uh, get confirmation he did grab the hold, measure how long left the contact between the climber and the hold, etc. Uh, this seems seemed to us very exciting and very interesting for the future. Um, moreover, we we when the contact is done, we can get information to an additional appliance and generate a scenario. We can light up something else, a light, another hold, so it could open many new opportunities. Uh, so we had, we were convinced there was a huge potential. And timing is a key factor in many competitions and sports competition in general. And we also believe timing will become more and more necessary and value added as climbing sports develops. So for us, when we thought about that, uh, and when we worked our research and development, it was obvious that the very first application would be speed climbing. Uh, well, I think as a company, we first learned how to interface with all the Olympic Games environment and its complexity, its specificity. Uh, we learned how to work, integrate in this environment with the technical and organizational issues. Uh, for us, it was uh, fabulous experience and a fabulous preparation for Tokyo 2020 and beyond. Um, so yes, it's about, it's not only having a product, it's how do we put the product in all the complexity of the environment. I think from that experience, uh, it showed us and to uh, the other stakeholders more and more the importance of improving sports presentation. Uh, having touch hold gives opportunity to enhance the presentation of sports, to make our sports more understandable. Uh, it's very different, I think, doing climbing competitions with climbers who know exactly what's happening. To open it with the Olympic Games to millions of people throughout the planet that never seen a wall. So I think we need to help it to help our sports being understandable, exciting, uh, and improve the way we show the events. I think Luxor has a role to help in these objectives, and we are currently continuing to invest in other products, additional products, uh, in this perspective. When we develop a product for competition, which is kind of proof of value, uh, it would have no sense for us if it's not useful for all level of climbers. Uh, when we develop a technology, we adapted them to the different kind of usage. Of course, a product for James is different from, 
from a product for training, or for, and it's again different for competition. But the basics remain the same, and we want to address all levels of climbers, of course. Yes, in terms of we have several products on sale already uh, on the touch speed hold. We have product for gyms with one lane, two lanes, 10 meters, 15 meters in standards. We also have a training system available, which is based on the same uh, technical infrastructure, but has many additional software uh, developments, which can bring to detailed reports and timing performance comparisons. So that kind of product is more adapted for national federation and for training centers. And these products are available to our resellers or directly with us uh, through our website, of course. You can place your orders and contact us. And of course, competitions is, is more a tailored system. And on the competitions, we adapt the system every time to, to the exact environment we have to face with. I think the best way to contact directly the company, on, you can find the, the contact details on the actual website. Uh, and I have, um, we are changing the website in a few days, in a week or two, so uh, I hope you will come back on the website in two weeks' time. So I think the system has to be better known by the climbing community. I think the experience we have with the looks of touch in gyms makes speed climbing more accessible to all uh, with the looks of touch and an appropriate auto belay. Uh, any climber can start climbing on speed wall, record their performance on the software, manage their new start and be completely autonomous and have great fun directly with the system. I think this is an experience that has to be uh, lived and has to be shown in different kinds of gyms to understand how it changes the relationship between the climber and the speed wall. Um, on the competition side, I think uh, thank, thanks to the touch system, we will work in the future more and more on data, like many other sports, and we will be more precise, less empirical as we go forward. I think technology in climbing, like in other sports, has to be totally transparent and relevant, and as we need to focus more and more on the athletes. In the yards, we started to show and to work on a 3D software application. Uh, it is perhaps not now we will go into details, but it's something on which we are working hard to, to bring more and more value in that 3D environment. Uh, we are working on several other products, of course. Uh, as I said, new uh, speed systems, additional features, additional systems some more simple, some more complete. Um, we are also developing uh, new games and for the entertainment market. Uh, we, even if competition is what we talk the most with IFSC, uh, we are investing in the entertainment markets with codes that are associated to lights. And we want to bring kids to climb and to climb more and more and having them get great time work and fun while climbing. I think this is one of the purpose. More we have climbers in the world, more we'll be happy and more uh, our sports will be recognized. Um, we are also working in partnership with the IFSC to deliver several solutions for Tokyo 2020. Um, and we will probably participate with IFSC in some competition in 2021 with our product and our future development. And the goal of all this is to prepare Paris 2024, uh, hopefully, uh, and be there with other new great innovations built on the products you already know. Um, I think uh, for the future that LooksUp can contribute and transform the look and feel of climbing in competition and this is what we are working on for the benefit of the whole community.